Referencing the outside width of a workpiece or rib using Bloom's Quick Start software is extremely easy. First, manually position the probe's stylus in the center of the workpiece or rib so the ruby sits about 10 millimeters above the part's Z surface. Now, switch to MDI mode and call up Bloom's Quick Start program with G65 P9700. When referencing the outside width of a workpiece, we only need specify four variables, S for the size of the object, X, Y, and Z for the axes to be moved, and W for the storage location. In this case, you can see we will reference a workpiece of approximately 75 millimeters wide in the X axis, move down 10 millimeters in Z, and then store the result to work coordinate number 56. The X1 variable signifies that the measurement to be made will occur in the X axis. Now execute the program to reference the workpiece's outside width. Check the work offset page to verify your results. Keep in mind that you can also modify the program call to measure the center of the workpiece in X in relation to a datum such as the corner of the workpiece. You can see here that we've already referenced the corner of this workpiece and saved it to G54. To relate the workpiece's center in X to the corner datum, we use the same program as before. However, this time activating G54 first and also inserting an A1 telling the program that this time we will be measuring instead of only referencing. We no longer need our W value since we are relating the measurement back to G54. Check the results on the macro variables page. Here we see the center of the workpiece is about 37 millimeters away from the datum in X. We can also see the actual width in variable number 106 and the deviation from nominal to actual in variable number 107.